Hello YouTubers, today I'm going to go through on how to mirror your Android device such as a Samsung device on your Windows 7 or your Windows 10 PC so that you're able to play your games and you can mirror what you're seeing on your screen on your phone onto your computer. In order to do that we're going to need to install something called Visor. Um, borrowing um, some of this material from other from other sources so what you need to do now is um, you go to Google and you basically Google visor and you're gonna install visor okay so this is the client so this goes gets installed into your uh, desktop so you can install for Windows or Mac whatever your operating system is then in the Google Play Store, search for Visor and download and install it. Okay. After you um, have this installed, you're going to be able to connect uh, what you're seeing on your smartphone on to your desktop. So you click on Open, and now after that, after uh, it finishes installing, you're going to um, uh, install it on your PC and follow the instructions. Okay. Um, allow. Okay. And um, just click allow again. Okay. Um, you want to turn international keyboard on and shared all devices on. Okay. And you can um, always uh, allow uh, to give access to the application when you run it. The interface here could be an, uh, that we're seeing right now is an older version of Visor, but um, uh, the steps are going to be similar. Um, you don't need to go through Gmail to get the access code. Um, in newer versions of Visor, this step is not required. But just for demonstration purposes, um, this is just allowing you to be able to log in and um, get Visor running on your client. Um, so um, after you do that, um, you connect your device with the, your USB connection, okay? And you're gonna have to allow um, uh, USB debugging on your phone go to go, um, and uh, you need to go through your settings and uh, make sure that um, you restart your computer if there's some issues but once you plug it in you need to download the uni universal ADB driver okay and if it doesn't work then uh, you need to ensure that you have the drivers there and go to the manufacturers web get to get an ADB driver enable ADB okay your enable your ADB drivers um, and um, you can find it on uh, the Visor support on how to actually do that. But on all um, Android devices, it's all pretty much similar. You would basically go to your um, settings dialog onto the bottom and enable um, USB debugging. Okay. So um, once that's enabled, and this is the step that most people will miss, um, is um, if you don't have this done, it won't connect. So as you see on the left side, uh, my Android device actually requires um, me to click on the allow USB de debugging option. So once I click it, click it on my phone, I will have the option to allow USB debugging, assuming that I have the Windows driver installed, okay? And that um, I have USB debugging on my phone. So, here is what it should look like and if you don't see it you you should switch it to enable um, USB debugging so um, this is just a so it will give you an option to connect so and then later on you'll be able to uh, get the authorization right there it says allow USB debugging so on my phone right now um, I actually just have plugged in my phone, okay, and I'm getting the prompt to allow USB debugging, which I'm getting this same uh, screen that's similar. I'm going to allow it. Now, do you see? <clears throat> now I get exactly a mirror view of um, 
what my phone looks like right now. So um, I can play whatever games I like and I can do screencasting uh, with this. I can play my favorite Zoom Zoom game and if you check my Zoom Zoom uh, video list, you'll be able to see my unboxing. And so I use this method to uh, show what I'm doing on my phone. And this works perfectly on a Windows 7 or Windows 10 um, machine. So um, if you like this uh, tutorial, please give me a like. Again, my name is Anthony Kuang, and have a wonderful day.